Gold Eyes tickets for the Gold Eyes game. And our first date, first real date in four years. So from what I can tell, I think this is just a pre-game. It's not the actual game that we came to see because the game starts at 7. What time is it? 5.54. 5.54. So we got an hour left before the actual game starts. And it's very, very hot. See, there's the sun. It's just, ugh. But, whatever. We're here. We're going to sweat. It's totally inevitable, whatever that word is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Get another angle from over here, a lot closer. So I guess there was a misprint on the tickets. <sighs> Way too loud in here. Uh, but no, the ticket said 7 and apparently the game started at 5. <sighs> oh, well, I mean, at least I didn't actually have to pay for the tickets. Or else I'd be kind of mad about that, but whatever. Anyway. Want to check out the scoreboard? And I think we're in the fifth inning. Or the sixth inning. Number two. And it's not even seven yet. I'm glad we showed up at like 5.30. Didn't really miss much of it. Good 
Yes. Back in the corner here, back to the crappy view, and way over here. That's crazy. You know, this is like kind of disappointing to me. There were 10 people at the drop-in center that won tickets. They, they won two tickets each, right? Like the whole section. There's 20 seats in the row. And I'm the only one that showed up. I'm going to have to have a talk with them and tell them that it's not worth it to have these draws if nobody's going to come to here. Well, they're free tickets, but still, I mean, you should take advantage of it and go, or at least give them to somebody that can use them. True, but that's not your problem. No, I guess not. First <laughs> time, these are really big balls <laughs> I just had to say that uh, but anyway it's the seventh inning stretch and we decided to leave because I don't know. We're more football and hockey fans than baseball, but you know, at least we came to the game. Even though the tickets were printed wrong, even though we don't really like baseball, we took advantage of the free tickets and we came, we gave it a chance. We came, we watched, we saw, we danced, and we had fun. Okay, I danced, <laughs> but it was fun. It was a good experience. I mean, that's all that you can hope for coming to something that you're not too familiar about. And I have no idea. I'm going to come back after we get home after everything and after I find out who won and I'll let you know. <sighs> There's a train behind us. But yeah, uh, we were walking around the, the ballpark after we came out and I looked up at our seats and Justin was there, a friend of mine at the drop-in. Uh, he's the one that plays the guitar and everything. <laughs> so Justin, if you're watching this, we were there, you know, because I know he's going to say, oh, I was there, how come you weren't there? Because he was sitting right beside where I was sitting. We were there, we just left because nobody was showing up, so. <sighs> what can you do, right? And I can't go back in there because we told them that we weren't coming back, so. Eh, whatever. I mean, we had fun, so that's all that matters. <sighs> so I decided to follow the Winnipeg Gold Eyes on Twitter and found out that 
Today's game was a double header. Uh, when we got there, the first game was already underway and it ended when we left. And if we had stayed there, the second game, you know, we would have been there for the full second game, which is still being played right now. It would have been nice if somebody had told us ahead of time, but whatever. Uh, the Gold Eyes won that first game that we watched. Um, the final score was 7-2. to two. And I guess I'll come back a little bit later when the second game is over and let you know who won, even though we weren't even there for it. Fish win! Fish win! Fish win! That's what they said on Twitter. Um, so the Winnipeg Gold Eyes beat the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks 4-3 to three in the second game. That they played. So way to go Gold Eyes. Uh, apparently the series finale is tomorrow. But we're not going to that. Um, I don't know what else to say. But to finish off a day at the ballpark. Jasmine and I made hot dogs. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper than buying them there. That's for sure. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Check out all the links down below and take it easy.